Hi guys, welcome back to Besame. My name is Shernet Smith and today I will be reading you a story called The Endless Tale by James Baldwin. In the Far East, many years ago, there was a great king who had no work to do. Every day and all day long, he sat on soft cushions and listened to storytellers telling made-up stories. And no matter what the story was about, he never grew tired of hearing it, even though it was very long. There is only one fault that I find with your story, he often said to a storyteller. It is too short. All the storytellers in the world were invited to his palace, and some of them told tales that went on and on and on. But no matter how long a story was, the king was always sad when it ended. At last, he sent a message into every city and town and country place, offering a prize to anyone who would tell him an endless tale. To the man who will tell me a story which shall last forever, he wrote, I will give my lovely daughter for his wife, and I will make the man my heir, and he shall be king after me. But this was not the whole message. He added a very hard condition. If any man shall try to tell such a story and fail, he shall have his head cut off. The king's daughter was very pretty, and there were many young men in that country who were willing to do anything to win her. But none of them wanted to lose their heads, so only a few tried for the prize. One young man invented a story that lasted three months, but at the end of that time, he could think of nothing more. So his head was cut off. His fate was a warning to others, and it was a long time before another storyteller was found who would try for the prize. But one day, a stranger came into the palace. Great king, he said, is it true that you offer a prize to the man who can tell a story that has no end? It is true, said the king. And shall this man have your lovely daughter for his wife? And shall he be your heir and become the king after you? Yes, if he succeeds, said the old king. But if he fails, he shall lose his head. Very well then, said the stranger. I have a pleasant story about locusts, which I should like to relate. Tell it, said the king. I will listen to you. The storyteller began his tale. This is what he said. Once upon a time, a certain king seized upon all the corn in his country and stored it away in a strong granary. But a swarm of locusts came over the land and saw where the grain had been put. After searching for many days, they found on the east side of the granary a crack that was just large enough for one locust to pass through at a time. So one locust went in and carried away a grain of corn. Then another locust went in and carried away a grain of corn. Then another locust went in and carried away a grain of corn. Day after day, week after week, the strange storyteller kept on saying, Then another locust went in and carried away a grain of corn. A month passed. A year passed. At the end of two years, the king said, How much longer will the locusts be going in and carrying away corn? Oh, king, said the storyteller, they have as yet cleared only one cubit, and there are many thousand cubits in the granary. Man, man, cried the king, you will drive me mad. I can listen to it no longer. Take my daughter, be my heir, rule my kingdom. But do not let me hear another word about those horrible locusts. And so the storyteller married the king's daughter and he and his bride lived happily in the land for many years. But his father-in-law, the king, did not care to listen to any more stories. The end. <laughs> well, that was such a funny story, right? What did you think of it? Have you heard this story before? 
please let me know in the comment section below. And if this is the first time visiting my channel, please remember to subscribe and click the thumbs up button if you like the story. Also, share it with your friends. Until next time, bye-bye.